Now that I've made some cable assemblies from these plugs and used them a bit, let's take a closer look at them. Now the ad says the housing is made of PA. I read that as nylon. Maybe I shouldn't. It may be that nylon is a PA, but not all PA plastics are nylon. I'm not sure. Anyway, if I see that designation, I think of a durable high temperature plastic. That's melting right away. I don't think that is a high temperature plastic. It is better than PVC, but if I were to push on the tip, it would melt right through the housing. Even though this sorting iron only goes down to 400 degrees, I've never measured the temperature of this knife tip any higher than 365 degrees. Here's a nylon zip tie, and a cheap one at that. Not even touching it. And here's a banana jack from a major brand. Not even leaving a mark, which is good because that pin sticking out has to be soldered to. And this is how they describe the plastic for their jack. PA with nylon in brackets. And the plastic is just what I would expect. If anyone watching knows about plastics, are there any PA plastics that melt easily at say 365 degrees? Or is the ad maybe stretching things? I would love to know. On to the really important part. That's melting a bit as well. Going to have to be quick soldering the wire on. The nickel plating looks good. The spring looks very nicely formed. Nice and firm with good spring back. The entire life of this banana plug relies on how well that spring is made, but only time will tell if they took any care in the manufacture of it. The assembly instruction picture leaves a bit to be desired. All it shows for sure is a blob of sorter with a wire in it on this flat section. Let's see how well it tends. Well as soon as the metal gets to temperature, sorter flows great. That's nice. I consider that a good plated finish. I'm going to solder a 14 gauge silicon wire to it, see how it does. I'll put a bit of flux on. Of course the thin wire strands really soak up the solder. But that looks okay and didn't melt the red tip off the end of it. The housing snaps together quite good. The wire feels like it's held tightly in place. I'll do the other end of the wire. I'm probably not understanding the instruction picture. While this will work, I'm not really happy with the sorter connection. I don't think it'll fall off, but I think a much better connection can be made using the eyelet that is right there, so I'm going to give it a try. I'm removing a bit over a quarter inch of insulation off the wire, then running the wire through the eyelet. It's about flush with the flat on the back of the plug. I have the soldering iron set to 720 degrees. Once the metal is hot, I'll feed a bit of solder into the eyelet. The plug does get a lot hotter attaching the wire this way, but the red tip has not melted. I feel much better with this solder connection. It's not going anywhere.
This tab here is part of the strain relief, so I want to make sure that the wire insulation goes down well past it. Then it just snaps together, and it snaps very tight, no play in them at all. I would say well molded housing. The negative side of this soldering method is that it's so easy to apply too much heat. A little solder to get the heat to transfer. Some solder in the eyelet. A bit more solder. and I've had the heat on it too long. Now the red tip will push back in place, but I do wonder how well it will stay over time. Well at $12 for a pack of 10, and what can be free shipping, makes these pretty cheap. But how much of that $12 is the packaging and convenience of getting it from Amazon, and how much is the cost of the plug? A little trip to the Alibaba website, and a bit of searching can yield some useful information. Well, doesn't that look familiar? Now that says pairs, but I would suspect that is the price of each plug comprised of three pieces. I'm not sure. Yeah, there are our same colors. Our PA plastic. Now this probably still isn't the manufacturer. Someone else upstream that will sell them even cheaper. But now I have a good idea that Eight of the $12 is for the packaging and convenience of buying them from Amazon. And the plugs cost about 40 cent each, tops. I'm very happy with these plugs. I think 14 gauge wire is about the limit for them. Might be able to squeeze in 12 gauge if the insulation is not too thick. The opening in the housing for the wire is about 4.3 millimeters. And it would be hard to get 12 gauge fine strand wire into the eyelet. What about using a lot thinner wire? I think we'd probably need to put some heat shrink around the wire where the strain relief holds it. Probably anything smaller than 18 gauge would need a bit of extra grip. Now only time and use will tell if the story has a happy ending. Thank you for watching.